uh the vpc peering is nothing but it enables you to connect vpc network so that workloads in different vpc network can communicate internally traffic stays within google network and doesn't traverse the public internet so let's go to our whiteboard to explain this okay so you have a vpc okay so you have a subnet which is in mumbai you have another vpc this is i'm talking about same projects okay let's talk the different project uh, scenario in the next uh, uh, step okay so you have uh, another subnet which is in uh, europe somewhere in netherlands whatever it is okay by default your vm which is 10.125.0.5 here it is uh, 10.196.0.5 this doesn't communicate each other okay by default okay so to do communication between your uh, vpcs so there is something called v v vnet peering vpc peering which is very 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 similar to your uh, azure vpc vnet peering okay so vnet peering is nothing but you are connecting these two vpcs together so that you can talk to the other network each other so this can communicate to this network and this can communicate to this network so you can from mumbai you can access netherlands server and from netherlands you can access the mumbai server and all the traffic will go within the gcc gcp backbone network okay it doesn't go over uh, uh, you know public internet so let let me put it in this way so you have vpc in mumbai you have a vpc in europe that is netherland okay you have a vm here you have a vm here as well the ip address is 10.125.0.0.2 10. Uh, let's say 182.168.0.5 okay 0.5 so by default if you want to communicate from here to here it is not possible because you are not able to reach the other network the only possible way either what you can do you can assign public ip address for this one pip1 and pip2 so from sitting here you can access the public ip address of this and from sitting here you can access the public ip address this one so all the traffic will go over your public ip address which is not at all recommended okay so this is one way to access it okay so the second way is second way is you should have a vpn here you will create a vpn tunnel you will also create a vpn tunnel so using this vpn tunnel from here you can access this vm inter through internal ip address that is 10.16 without assigning any public ip address all the traffic will flow over the vpn tunnel and you can access each other but remember this traffic is again going over your public internet because vpn uh, tunnel is, uh, is getting stopped yeah Sorry, sorry. For I'll let uh, yeah, let me complete. Uh, let, let me complete, then I will come to the uh, question. Okay. So this is purely going over public, but this is encrypted traffic because you have a tunnel here. So this is not a, a non-encrypted traffic. This is a encrypted traffic, but again, it will use your internet normal internet link. Okay. So this is the second way of communicating. Again, the traffic is going uh, over the internet, and uh, it is not safe. Okay, not that safe. Okay. The third way is something called VPC peering. Okay, so VPC is peering is nothing but you are connecting uh, your uh, virtual private uh, network from different regions to together, so that you can communicate from Mumbai to Netherlands and Netherlands to uh, your uh, Mumbai servers or services. The entire traffic will go, uh, you know, flow in the GCP backbone network itself. Okay, it doesn't traverse through public internet. Okay, this is similar to your VNet peering in Azure. In uh, GCP, it is called as uh, VPC peering. Guys, any doubt here? Any any clarification or any doubts? Any queries? Uh, you know, related to the VPC peering? Uh, just uh, one question. So, what if uh, from the, if if it falls on the same site? yeah if let's say okay so 
for example you mean to say so your question is you have a vpc in mumbai right okay. here you have a subnet subnet 1 that is 10.196.0.0/20 slash 0 .0 you have a deployed vms here and now you have subnet 2 which is 10. Uh, 0.1.0/24 you have a so now your question is you are in the same site that is in the mumbai but in a different subnet how i will communicate right uh no i mean uh, can i uh, so probably i may be wrong but uh, same site can we have two vpcs yeah you can have two vpcs yeah so that was my question i mean uh, same site probably uh, in on prem we may have different sites right to for okay, refinements got it. And all those now, things yeah yeah now now i got your question so now you have a different yeah. vpc that is also in mumbai you'll have a separate subnet that is i'll uh, take it as s3 172.20.0.0 okay so now you want to communicate from here to here right exactly so uh, you have to do the same vnet peering that's it simple so this is uh -huh. called uh, regional regional peering if you are doing uh, across the uh, that is called a global peering you got my point understood clear yeah, thanks yes yeah so guys, so you, say to, uh, you say like 10 dot you know, how I will communicate with that one in the subnet like the we have to. Yeah, this is by default. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the for the by default, as I told you, right? Mm. So outgoing traffic is allowed within the within your VPC, but incoming is not allowed. So what you have to do, you have to create a firewall rules to allow the traffic from this and uh, uh, you have to allow the traffic, uh, you know, create a firewall rules allowing the traffic from this subnet that we will see. You got my point. Are so you the security create... group work? Security group work yes. be okay. yes, yes. Only on the firewall rules uh, you have to define. Nothing, uh, nothing to do on the peering, etc. Because you are already in the VPC. You got my point. Mm, yeah. No, and I'm also... just saying that yeah. one security group would work like the AWS stuff. We know the security group tagging is there. We can add the security group and assign to the uh submit same, labels same 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 concept same concept okay got it okay we will we, will, we, will, we have a yeah does the VPC will work or uh, we need to create firewall rule as well no in gcp see uh, like uh, you meant to say within within a vpc uh, with the different subnets uh, communication uh, within the region within the region like for example mumbai as uh, taken as a region and we have mm -hmm. multiple VPCs as uh, uh, Girish as question. Now you said like we have to create VPC pairing to communicate between these two VPCs. So mm -hmm. while we try to do an uh, inbound connection to the machines that are there in the VPC one, yeah. we need yeah. to create firewall rule as well. Or VPC e exactly, Ex you have to create a firewall rules because as I told you by default, any incoming traffic is not allowed. So it doesn't add, uh, you know, firewalls rule automatically. You have to explicitly create it. Yeah, we will see in the demo. We will cover the, all the topics in the demo. OK, now we have a VPC peering and uh, yeah, somebody is asked, uh, let's say I have the VPC in one project and I have a VPC in another project. How I will communicate? It is the same answer. You have to do the VPC peering. I hope it's clear. Those who ask the question. Yeah. That's clear. That's clear. 